There are no words that excuse the killing of innocents. There's no video that justifies an attack on an embassy. There is no justification, none at all, for responding to this video with violence. In fact, this was not a pre-planned, premeditated uh, attack. That what happened initially was that it was a spontaneous uh, reaction to what had just transpired in Cairo uh, as a consequence of the video. The notorious video called Innocence of Muslims portrayed the Prophet Muhammad as a womanizer and a child molester. And it ignited violence across the Muslim world, leading, we know for a fact, to the storming of our embassy in Cairo, Egypt. But then the Obama administration took the blame game a step too far, accusing the video of being responsible for the terror attack on our embassy in Benghazi, Libya, our consulate in Benghazi, Libya, which, as you know, resulted in the deaths of our ambassador, Chris Stevens, and three other brave Americans. Just released from a halfway house after being sentenced to a year in federal prison for parole violations for an unrelated charge, the producer of The Innocence of Muslims, Nikula Nikula, joins me right now from Los Angeles. So, uh, Mr. Nikula, did your film that you wrote, did that film ignite the violence in the Muslim world? I like to say something. This country, United States of America, it gave me a lot. My children uh, born and grow up in this country. And I put in my mind, I supposed to protect this country. And I'm asking all American and all immigrant, uh, immigrant to protect this country. That's why I wrote this movie. This movie, it is not a religion movie as much as it's a political movie. My idea is fighting and I will keep fight. That's why I'm telling you I'm not, uh, you know, free or something. Maybe this is the reason. I will keep fight with the terrorism culture. You are fighting terrorism. That's why you wrote this film. Yes, I did. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's even when I when I I, uh, I wrote my the, the book or something. I dedicate my book to the people they get died in Benghazi, and to every son lost his father, to every mother or father left her son or his son or his daughter, uh, because the terrorism culture. You knew that your film insulted the Prophet Muhammad. You knew your film would incite anger from many devout Muslims. Is that not true? Your question, it's very important, and I know you mean every word you said. I know that. You said your movie. Did you see my movie? Any one of these old people saw my movie? No, they just take a piece and they're running with it. You, your question is very, very important and question. Nicola, even if and they only they... saw a trailer, a sampling of your film, is it not true that you knew that the Muslim extremists that you are so opposed to that these people who want to drink of milk and honey and virgins in heaven and blow themselves up and all the rest of that, you knew that these crazy people, these crazy religious people, would be angry at this film. Did you not? Same thing. You said crazy people. We don't need to deal with the crazy people. We need to, to deal with the uh, logical people. I know I have a lot of Muslims uh, friends, a lot. And all of them, they know me and they know what I mean. And uh, they know I am really free and clear to explain everything. And I opened the negotiation with them. And sometimes I agree for whatever they said. And sometimes they are agree for whatever I said. And I agree for whatever they said. 100%. How did you feel when violence broke out in Cairo, Egypt, and they attacked the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, Egypt, after the film trailer of the film you wrote was released? How did you feel when the violence broke out? Simple question. How did you feel? Now answer me straight. Okay, because I, know, I am Egyptian and I know the Egyptian very well, 
I can tell you, 50% from these people, if you look to their Egyptian passport, you find them, they get refused from the embassy, and they refuse them to come to United States. Another 25% from these people, they went to this problem without knowing anything. I, I, you know, maximum, maximum, 10 people from these people, they went to against the American embassy just because they hate United States, they, uh, for the movie, for anything. And they can do that any time without any reason. So you did not, so Nicola, Nicola, you did not feel bad then when it happened because you're saying that they just used it as an excuse. So you didn't feel any personal responsibility. Is that, is that what you're saying? No, of course, I don't have any personal responsibility for sure. So you this are absolutely, <laughs> the film played no role. It was just an excuse for violence. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nicola, are you in fear because you're fighting terrorism with this film and other things that you do and say? Are you in fear now for your own life? My life is nothing. I am not better than uh, Chris, uh, the ambassador or the three heroes they get, they get killed with him. I'm not important than them. I'm not important uh, besides 3,000 they get killed in, in New York. I'm not. I'm not that important. Who, who am I? Who am I? If everybody think about his life, that's mean forget United States. Forget the free world. No. Life is nothing beside these heroes. Nicole, you're a very colorful uh, character. I wish you well as uh, we go forward in life and you're not afraid. Is that the message that you leave us with? No, no, no. I'm not afraid at all. I never be afraid all my life. Never. For, for what? For what? Thank you for coming on tonight and I wish you luck. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for having me. Coming up, Eric.